So let's go to Google. I'm going to show you first how you can download OBS. So you're going to go to Google and type in OBS Studio. The first thing you're going to see apart from the sponsored one here, it's going to be the OBS Studio. Usually the website is obsproject.com. That's where you can download the latest OBS. Now, if you're using Windows or Mac, depending on what you're using, you can actually go ahead and download for whatever operating system that you're using. Uh, in our case, we're using Windows. Windows, okay now as you can see latest version of obs supports windows 10 and windows 11 so make sure your computer is running at least windows 10 or windows 11 okay once you're done click here on windows or mac whatever and follow the instructions it's super easy to install i already have mine installed okay but it's just going to install it no problem Another thing that I forgot to mention that you're going to need, you are going to have a good internet connection. That's the key because you cannot live stream without an internet connection. And I would recommend you don't use Wi-Fi. Try to use a cable, an actual cable, and connect it directly from your router into your computer or from any, an ethernet switch or anything. But it's got to be hardwired in because if not, Wi-Fi is not reliable. So don't try to stream over Wi-Fi, okay? So now that we have OBS installed, the first time you open it, it's going to look like this. Obviously, I have a few scenes that I have created here, but I will actually ask you to ignore this because this is what you're going to see when you open OBS for the first time. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to go ahead and go to scene here where it says scene and we're going to add our first scene okay that's like our main scene kind of we're gonna call it main scene let's just call it main okay and i'm gonna hit okay now the scene uh this scene is actually is going to be a composition of sources okay mostly sources are going to be your camera your microphone and if you have some music in the background, it could be that. If you have some pictures you want to show on the stream, it's going to be that. But for the sake of this video, we're going to keep it simple. So we're going to be connecting our camera and our microphone. Okay. So the next thing that you need to do is you're going to go to click to that scene and we're going to go to sources and we're going to hit plus and we are going to add the first a camera okay so now for your camera because it's going to be connected through usb or through a capture card what you need to do is you're going to go ahead and choose video capture device okay to add your camera and you can name it let's say name it camera and hit okay and we're gonna go ahead and look for your camera okay so usually you have a list of all the cameras that you have connected this is all my inputs connected right now but in your case maybe it will show up as a capture device or something so depending on the capture card that you're using that's gonna how it's gonna show up here okay for me i have black magic design which is my atm mini that's the one we're gonna be using i can go ahead and choose my streamers virtual camera here and i'm gonna go here and actually enable it all right so this is a sample of my camera again if for you it may be something else but this is me capturing myself right now again i repeat in your case it could be something else depending on the capture card that you're using it could be a cam link it could be the name of your capture card it could be capture device or something else all right so it's gonna show up here for sure okay and then the next thing you have to do for resolution again usually it would just capture the default resolution but you can go ahead and actually go to custom you can change it if you want to 1920 by 1080p which is full hd okay and frames per second you can just keep it that way you don't have to do anything all this stuff here you don't have to do anything here you can just use the way it is and hit okay so now we have my camera into obs the next thing we have to do is we need to bring in our microphone because right now if i was going to go live there would be no audio okay so what we need to do is we need to go to the plus sign again go to audio input cap okay and we can type call this microphone okay and then we hit okay 
okay and you need to look for your microphone so in your case again depending on the type of microphone you're using if you're using the microphone connected to your camera it's going to show up through your capture card so it's going to be the same device that you used as a capture card if you're using a usb microphone it's going to be a separate microphone for example if you're using the tonar tc40 which is the microphone that i showed you earlier it's going to show up as on our tc40 all right in my case i have my atm mini connected as a microphone as well so that could be another microphone that i use i have my vocast um, interface which is this one right here but you can see i have a lot of options here but i'm gonna go ahead and get microphone black magic design all right so i just added a little bit of volume so now it's working because the the volume was at zero and as you can see i have a signal right now coming from my microphone so that's how you would add a usb microphone and boom so once we have the audio we have our mic we have our lights obviously so the whole setup the camera is connected to the computer you have your light and you're looking good on camera it's time to actually go live okay now another thing again this is a beginner's guide so you may design another scene for like a welcome scene or a countdown timer or you know after you stream you may design something like you know that says thanks for watching so those are things that you may do to kind of spice up your stream for the purpose of this video we're not gonna do that but i want you to keep that in mind okay you can go ahead and design another scene i'm just gonna show you a little quick we can call it welcome okay and then on this scene what we can do is we can go ahead and look for an image okay so let's say it's called this image welcome we're gonna call the source welcome okay welcome image right and hit okay and we need to browse find it we're gonna go ahead and browse find something that we can use here look for an image that we can use Let's bring in this image, for example, right? Okay. So this is a quick image to just show you. Again, when you bring it in, it may show up like this. Okay. And what we need to do, you can right click to it and go to transform and then go to fit to screen. Okay. This is just an example. All right so now it fits the screen and then what we need to do is if you have some music you can add some music but again we're gonna keep it simple you can go to add source and then we can add a text okay and then hit okay and then what we can do we can type welcome okay just welcome something simple we can choose the font that we need so something that looks a little fancy be best be best is my favorite font and hit okay and then you can maybe have it centered in here right you can also go to filters or properties and let's see if we can add some gradient or something opacity 200 percent something like this so as you can see it doesn't look bad okay again this is super quick so this is like your welcome and then we can move it on the top of main okay so now i can switch from between welcome and then when i'm ready to go live i can hit go live right again you can add like a lot of information you can also switch from if you go here you have studio mode if you switch to studio mode it gives you an ability to preview a scene before you take it live so i can actually hit cut okay let's say i choose my main my main camera is gonna be in preview and before i go live i can hit cut and it's gonna go live okay if i wanna go back to this scene i can go back to this scene no problem so before you go live you can have this thing that says welcome and then whenever you're ready you can hit cut to your main scene here uh, which is you talking and you know maybe sharing your message and then boom you live okay so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to actually go to settings okay 
and we are going to go live for real okay so what you see now here the main settings for obs you have your three your general settings you don't have to do anything here you have your stream settings this is what we're going to be using for streaming you have your output settings in most cases it's gonna look like this the video bit rate you can keep it you know at this no problem or adjust it depending on your internet connection but for the simplicity of this video we're gonna keep it this way and um to be honest the encoder you can change it if you have a dedicated graphics card you can change it to this or if you don't just keep it to software okay but other than that this is pretty much it keep it simple and on video here this is where the magic happens so on video here you want to make sure you change it to full hd okay full hd which is 1920 by 1080p okay this is important okay and here keep it at 30 frames per second so this number here can stay at 30 no problem okay and that's pretty much it once you're done you can hit apply and the next thing we're gonna hit okay so guys so now that we have created two scenes at least the welcome scene and the main scene which is you being on the screen and your microphone obviously everything's connected the lighting's perfect we are now it's time to go live on youtube so what we need to do now is i'm gonna go ahead and go to my youtube open youtube make sure you logged in okay and then you're gonna go on the top here where it says create okay again you want to make sure you are logged into your youtube account okay or your your google account now you're gonna go ahead and Go where it says create and go where it says go live and then from here you can actually go where it says stream okay on the stream part this will be if you wanted to go live directly using just get the stream key pass into obs that's one way however that's not the way you're gonna be doing it today because with the new obs you can actually go directly live from obs to youtube and that's gonna be by going to stream settings here okay and i can go ahead and choose youtube okay so where it says service so we we'll just go ahead and choose youtube rtmps okay and for the server you can use the primary youtube ingest server which is great here where it says connect account recommended go ahead and connect your account directly and i'm gonna show you how to do that and i'm gonna show you another way of actually using the stream key okay let's start with using our stream key first and then we're gonna go ahead and show you how to connect your account which one is better in my opinion by connecting your account i think it's better because you don't need to do anything else every time you go live you simply hit go live and you live because your account is connected to youtube so let's go ahead and use the streaming key first you need to go to youtube i'm gonna close this and i'm gonna go to youtube here okay as if i was going live and i'm gonna copy my streaming key here okay copy this streaming key make sure you hide it all the time and then i'm gonna go back to obs go to settings and then go ahead and paste the stream key from youtube and hit apply and hit ok now if i do start streaming we should be able to see our feed right now back in youtube now it says the connection is good and then as you can see i am live right now okay now what you would need to do is you would have to go to edit change your title add your description customize everything monetize your stream you can turn on the monetization and everything make sure everything is good and you are good to go once you're done live streaming you just hit end stream and the stream will be ended you can also go here and do schedule and create new and then you can name it so say call test and add your description and everything okay monetization you can monetize it that's up to you now customization local you know through all the settings for now we're gonna make it unlisted 
this one is kind of scheduled so you can schedule it to any time that you want to go live if you want to go tomorrow or after tomorrow it's up to you now what you need to do is the same concept if you live streaming right now i'm live streaming okay it's getting the signal from obs because we did not disconnect it but i can go to obs hit stop streaming okay but this one is not public which is good and what i would do here is i will go back to settings okay and then i'll go to stream now we're gonna use this second method which is the one that i recommend the most which is connecting directly obs to youtube so go to connect account it says please complete the authorization in your external browser if the external browser does not open follow the link all right go to google auth service so it's gonna open a tab like this and then you choose the email, the Google account that's associated to your YouTube account. And then you hit OK. And then you choose your YouTube account or your YouTube channel. And then hit allow because you need to allow your OBS to connect it to your YouTube account. Follow all the instructions. And once you're done, you should get a confirmation. This is it, guys. As you can see, you can go live, no problem and you're gonna be able to stream your message and impact more people so my name is sam you're watching live production tips and tools if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the subscribe button share to somebody who may benefit from this video and like the video of course and don't forget leave me some questions in the comment section down below if you have questions and i'm gonna link everything that i talked about in this video down below or the information that you need if you need to know how to do exactly the same thing but be able to stream on facebook live i have a video that i made that i'm gonna link at the end as well but other than that thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you on my next video take care